Okay, so properties of a kite. A kite is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a four-sided figure with the following properties. Exactly two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. So like it states here, AB and AD are congruent. These two sides are congruent. And these two sides are congruent. Two pairs of consecutive sides. One pair of opposite angles are congruent. So this angle is congruent to this angle. Diagonals are perpendicular. So I can put the 90 degree mark in. All right. So number one, just like the warm up, I know that. So here's an extra note I want to make sure we put in here. So everybody needs to put this in here. Interior angle sum is 360. Because these ones are, they only leave you with two angles, so it might leave you with a question mark, but we do know the interior angles will all add up to 360. So 43 plus 85, add those up, get 128. I subtract 128 from 360. Two hundred and thirty-two. Subtract from three hundred and sixty, and I get two hundred and thirty-two. So these two angles, angle B and angle D, must equal two thirty-two added together. So I take thirty-two and divide it by two. So each angle is one hundred and sixteen. One one six one one six. Okay, number two. I know this is a kite because it says it right here. So if this is a kite, that makes angle L and angle J the same. So angle J must be thirty-two degrees or eighty-two. I don't know why I said thirty-two. Eighty-two degrees. I know three of the four angles. I can add these up, subtract from 360 to get the missing side. Okay, number three. I know this angle, I need to find PTQ. PTQ forms, these two diagonals are perpendicular, makes PTQ 90 degrees. Next I need PQT. Well, if you've you have to notice first that we made a right triangle right here. So I can find the third angle by adding these two up and subtracting from 180. So 37 plus 90, 127, subtract it from 180, get 53 degrees. And I need QRT. Well, QRT needs to be the same as the other side, so it's also 37 degrees. Okay, 